Yo, what's up, YouTube? Jeremy here, and I'm gonna put this on uh, both of my accounts here, and then I am going to, uh, it probably doesn't matter for my main one, but I'm probably gonna try and upload all my uh, Black Ops 2 stuff onto my second one again, if you're watching this on there, and then, um, I wanna try to do MLB The Show. I've been super busy with school and stuff. Um, I have a crap load of homework, um, to do today, because it kinda sucks. You have, like, an hour class, and then you get, like, four hours of homework for one thing, which kinda blows, but, um, I'm gonna try to get all of that stuff done and then um get back to MLB the show. So hopefully like next week or something. I've been working um a lot too, although I'll probably stop that soon anyways. Just uh focus on school and stuff. And once I have my break coming up here in December, I'll definitely do some uh, MLB franchise playthroughs. And then I was thinking I might buy a PS4 just so I can um play the show which will kind of probably sound kind of stupid because i don't know which console i'm going to get yet um i'm not going to get anything right now because there's really no launch titles i want to play i think ps4 right now has the better uh, exclusives with Killzone and stuff dead rising 3 um looks cool fours is cool i'm not in the racing games at all so i mean it looks nice but i'm not going to play it uh dead rising 3 is nice but not enough to spend like 600 bucks on it and then i'm not dropping 600 bucks just to get ground war and uh call of duty which everyone said and i think the console is only 500 but um your headsets and all that don't work with it. My capture card won't work with it either, so that'd be another, like, 150 bucks just because the freaking, um... I have the old HD PVR. I don't have one that does HDMI unless there is a uh, adapter I can get, but I was looking, and I don't think the Xbox One really does <coughs> component cables at all, so I'm probably going to wait, and I think, like I said, I'll get the PS4. I know uh, the show's coming out on the PS3, but, um... I don't know, I was watching some of Fist videos, and since Call of Duty looked pretty good on the, uh... Xbox One, and I know it was kind of made for the current gen consoles, so I'm thinking if that thing looks good, and I watched some, uh, some Killzone stuff from White Boy on the PS4, so I think if they look that good, a game that was made directly for that platform, like the show, will be pretty cool, and, um, it's probably stupid to get a sports game for it, but that's one of my, uh, favorite games, and I think the PS4 is gonna, um, be a pretty good console, I don't know if it'll be better than the Xbox One, but I think the, uh, hardware and stuff in it is gonna be pretty good, and, uh, Sony's getting it right this time with actually charging for online so people can get uh, good servers and stuff like that so the uh, online can be good. And one thing they screwed up last time with the uh, PS3, which was um, they had no like chat functionality or anything. If you looked, Xbox kind of dominated where you can do uh, party chat and just anything like that. And the XMB on PlayStation was so stale and old. They like never updated it. It was still... Like, if you imagine the Xbox and they had the old blades on the thing, that's like how the XMB looked to everybody. It was because they didn't allocate enough... Uh, memory ram which is what uh runs the uh, game and operating system so they had i don't know if it was like two gigs in that or what but the uh operating system probably took uh, a certain percentage of that and then the rest of it they told developers you have this much for you to use it for your game so even if the, they probably wanted to implement chat and all that crap but they didn't have enough ram to uh, run it so they couldn't implement any of that stuff but now uh i think we got eight gigs in the new one and they've dedicated like half of it to uh to their operating system so it should be good but um yeah kind of on a uh weird little rant here but yeah i'm trying to try to get back into mlb the show like i said and i'll talk about this gameplay really quick um so the other team i was playing with these dudes in a few games um and they were just camping their asses off i had one on straight zone which i'll probably upload it i couldn't our entire team couldn't leave our spawn we just got crapped on and it shows how annoying snipers are but i, was, I guess the other team's good too if they were all sniping and we still couldn't leave the spawn i died like 20 times that game in a TDM, it was like 25 and 20 or something horrible. Should never die really more than like 10 times in a regular uh, TDM game. But um, yeah, so these guys were just getting their camp on and stuff like that. So I was like, if they're going to do that, I switched to the uh, tracker site here. And I was like, this is a good uh, class to combat snipers. Um, the M14 would probably be good too, but I didn't have any uh, any marksman assault rifles create or classes created. So I'm using uh, this gun right here, and I'm kind of camping this building, and um, they're just going to keep coming to me, so I am going to uh, keep camping. It's a lot different than what they're doing. They have some guys who sit in the corner with snipers, but we were losing, so trying to get the comeback going here. Nice little uh, comeback. Like I said, it's a pretty campy game, but I don't know. It's effective, and they were playing annoying, too, with their <laughs> snipers, so I was like, all right, I'll try to do this here. Whenever the other team is all sniping, I usually don't quit. It's like, I'm going to play so annoying that I make them rage quit. Like, if they're all in a party, it's like... I'm going to play like an absolute douche and use the most annoying setup just so they don't want to play with me. And that is a small victory for me somehow. It's like, all right, I made these dudes rage quit and I didn't. And then I usually end up quitting the lobby right after they quit too. Just satisfaction in knowing I get them to quit. But um, <laughs> I had the battle hind on this game too instead of the maniac, which I think the uh, maniac's better. The uh, hind sucks in this game. The helicopter never gets me kills. But for this map, the maniac probably would have sucked since it's so open. So... 
the battle hind I think was the way to go and then yeah these guys they all had snipers and stuff and another thing this is the best secondary to use in this game akimbo uh, pistols not not the USP but whatever the default ones are don't use the uh, revolver and don't use the PDW because those take longer to pull out since they're uh, PDWs to round burst and stuff like that. But if you just use the default pistols, they come out instantly, right? When you hit the Y button or the triangle button, like the fastest switch, just run those things akimbo. You don't need steady aim and they just destroy, just hip fire with those things. Because um, I was trying it with the uh, revolver, whatever, I don't think it's called a python in this game, but whatever it is. Nobody's dies switching between the sniper rifle and that thing, but I switched up to the uh, these little pistols. You can see how quick these things come out and then... I think I got scavenger on, I'm not sure, but I've been running a lot of Amplify, which is super cheap, but whatever it's in the game, I'm not going to not, not use the thing in there. So, um, yeah, I got scavenger on, which is nice. I wish they would, I think there is a perk that lets you start out with, uh, with full ammo. Is there or isn't there? I don't know. I'd rather use that thing than scavenger, but I'm too, uh, lazy to, uh, find it. So I've just been running scavenger here, and I think the perks are pretty balanced, because I find myself wanting to run a lot of dead silence, Amplify, um, sit rep. And then hardline, and I usually have to drop one of those off. Which I've been getting rid of dead silence and just running amplify because there's no point in running dead silence if uh, amplify counters it anyways. So, as you can see, we're back into this game. It's uh, 44 45, so a nice, nice little 10 kill streak for me. And then um, I think they shoot down my uh, my helicopter here soon, which I don't know because no one runs stinger missiles in this game. I don't run them either, just because. Air support kind of sucks in this game, which is cool that it's more gun on gun instead of uh, kill streak oriented games like uh, MW2 and stuff. But right when this game did, came out, I didn't like it at all. But after playing uh, like this past week with this, I really dig this game. Um, I think it'd be fun on the new consoles. And if the PS4 had dedicated servers, I'll we'll go back to that. Probably would have picked up this game right now, but since it doesn't, I don't know. I'm going to wait. Um, Titanfall is another game that I really wanted to play, but it's going to be coming out on the 360 anyways. And then that South Park game got pushed back again to like March or some shit. That thing's got pushed back like five times. It's going to be like, uh, what was it, Duke Nukem Forever or whatever that took them like 10 years of uh, pushback release dates to finally release. And then when that game came out, I think it ended up sucking. I never played it, but a lot of people on YouTube bought it and were like, yeah, this game, I don't know how it took them 10 years. It looks like it took them 10 months to finish this thing. So, um, you can see the pistols. Um, do I die here? Oh yeah, I actually get in there. But uh, I think that guy had a combo pistols too, and there was two of them. Um, so um, yeah, that's real good. I'm telling everyone to use these pistols and how great they are, and I get owned with them, but they are pretty good. So um, yeah, like I said, I'd get the PS4 now if it had dedicated servers, just because all my crap works with it. I'm sure I can get my capture card to work with it. If not, I could buy a new one. Um, and then all my headsets would work with it too, which I think the Xbox One, they said none of your current headsets work with it. I've seen some people use Astros with it, but I am using the uh, the X3 Turtle Beaches, which I don't even know how to get those things freaking hooked up to HDMI. I'm sure it's not hard, but she's a little uh, component things for that thing. So um, another thing, the yeah, Xbox, I already said this, the Xbox One looks like a freaking VCR from like 1995 or whenever those things came out. 1990, they're just huge, which I'm sure they'll slim down over time, but the PS4... And it looks like the console, except for, for games, it looks like the console, but for the online stuff, I think Xbox has got a better uh, dashboard and better uh, online service and stuff like that. But hopefully Sony can get that thing uh, fixed up. But um, yeah, like I said, going to try to uh, get some MLB The Show going here pretty soon. And then um, no one watches the Call of Duty videos. Uh, I'll probably upload them for a little while longer and then just throw them on my second channel once I get some more subscribers on that one. So... If anyone doesn't watch, isn't subscribed to that one, links in the info. And then I'm going to try to re-upload all these ghost videos I did the past week onto that channel. And then just probably do just new ones onto that. And then uh, the show onto uh, this one once I um, get a break from school and stuff like that. So we end up winning this game. This will come back for us here. I think I died a lot. Uh, yeah, 25 and 9 and then 2 assists. So um, died a lot, but... I don't know, just showing how to uh, take down snipers who are super annoying. And then, I don't know if this commentary is interesting to anyone, since I rambled on about um, nerdy uh, Xbox and PS3 features, but that's it, guys. Also, anyone watch that freaking uh, Broncos-Patriots game the other night? That was crazy. How, um, how that ended, I don't know. That would suck for Wes Welker, but the win kind of screwed him there. And then, yeah, I would actually go into that game, but... The <laughs> I'd finally pick an interesting topic and the gameplay is over right when I decide on it. So everyone has to sit through boring crap for 10 minutes and then something interesting and the video is over. So, uh, I did say guess, but.